Hey, welcome back. Have you got a toggle on your Elementor website and you've got a very long title in the toggle and then what happens is this, where basically the title starts to wrap and it goes underneath the icon and it just doesn't look like as clean as what you wanted before. And really what you want is for the bullets or the icons, the left of the title to be where it is, but you want the text to wrap but not go underneath the icon. It's really, really simple to do this. I'm going to show you how. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe and follow. And please share this video to anyone that needs it. Now, the solution is you just stick in a tiny bit of HTML code. And I'm going to show you the code here. All you're going to do is you're going to keep your text as it is. But before your text, you're going to type this in. Div style equals margin left 1 EM. Now, obviously, if you have messed around with your, um, your typography, and what I mean is over here, normally EM for most themes is going to be 16 pixels, okay? But if you go to site settings and you go to typography and you have changed your body typography here to be a different size. So let's say you got 20 pixel, 1 EM will now be 20 pixel, 2 EM will be 40 pixel. But I would say unless you've changed that, you don't need to worry about this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop the code in over here into the title. It's always handy if you've got it written down beforehand. Now, when you paste this in, you will have noticed now the text in the title has moved to the right a bit. So now it's not wrapping underneath the icon, but also the text within the content has also moved. Let me just remove that to see what I mean. So before the Laura Ipsum was also underneath the icon, when we add that code in, like so, even the text in the content has moved over. So win-win over here looks a lot more cleaner. The problem is, though, is the content has now gone bold. But this is dead simple to sort out. Just go to your style, go to your content, go to your typography, and then obviously mess around with your font, your weighting, or whatever you want to go. Let's just go with 300. So there you go, a really, really simple way of how, obviously look, the second toggle has not got that solution in. So you've got to make sure you keep putting in that style, div style HTML code in there, okay? But if you do that, that is going to keep your toggles looking really, really clean and a little bit more nicer. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe and follow and I'll see you soon.